Welcome to week six of the new you program. So if you haven't been following along, just so you know, this is a series that I've been giving on here for absolutely free. This is a program that I normally charge um, thousands of dollars for, to be quite honest with you, to corporations across uh, the Maritimes and across the world. So what I decided to do is offer this up on YouTube, on my YouTube channel for free to help as many people as I possibly can to kind of get through this thing that we're all going through. So let's jump right in. Week six, body image. A lot of people have issues with body image. A lot of people, especially in today's day and age of social media and everyone's trying to, to look a certain way or to compare themselves to somebody else or try to be better than somebody else. And it's become a real issue. Body image has become a real problem. And it saddens me that more people simply don't live a life where they are happy and content with their bodies, where they are happy and content with who they are as a person and just quite frankly, spend less time worrying about what other people think. When you give that up, when you are finally freed of that, those shackles, when you're freed of that, life becomes much better. When you stop worrying about what other people think of you, you are basically free. You're basically able to become the best version of yourself. Until that time, it is, it is almost impossible to be truly become the best version of you because you're so worried and overwhelmed and concerned about what other people think. And body image is, it's a sad state of affairs. And I'm gonna help, try my best, to help give you some sort of tips on how to have a better mind, body, a body image mindset. So the first thing is to recognize and acknowledge negative feelings. And we all have them. We all have at certain points, some more than others, we all have negative feelings about our bodies, about how we look. Not everybody. I don't want to use blanket statements because there are some people who are perfectly content with the way they look. And that's great. But I want more people to feel that way. I want more people to care less about how they look and about how others are judging them. So it, the, the important thing is to recognize self-awareness is very, very important. It's crucial, in fact, in order to get past this. Never suppress those feelings. It's okay to feel those feelings. It's it's actually okay to feel those feelings of negativity and, and, and to feel you know that you don't look your best. Recognize it acknowledge it, allow them, but don't allow them to take over your life. Don't allow them to become out of control and become an eating disorder, or become other types of disorders. Allow yourself to feel the feelings, be aware of the feelings, and then take control of them. Own those feelings. Take the time to analyze those negative thoughts and try to turn them into positive ones. It's not always easy. I know that. It is not always, it's, it's easier said than done, but it is possible. Once you are aware that those thoughts are kind of taken over, you have to own those thoughts and you've got to try to turn them around. Look in the mirror and find something that you like. Look in the mirror and, and tell yourself that you're beautiful. Look in the mirror and look, maybe it's your shoulders, maybe it's your eyes, maybe it's your hair, maybe it's your teeth, maybe it's your lips, maybe it's, it's your core, maybe it's your legs, maybe it's your calves, it doesn't matter what it is, find something and tell yourself that you are beautiful because you are in your own special way. Everybody is beautiful. One of the best ways to get over body image issues is to change your body. And the best way to change your body is through exercise, dance, yoga, movement of some kind. That's how you transform your body by doing those things. You build your body, you lose some weight, you do whatever it is that you need to do to change your mindset. And the best way to do that is to change the physical. If you're not happy with how you look physically, change it. Really? I know it sounds simple, but it really is that simple. Change how you look. If you don't like how you look, change how you look then you'll feel a little bit better automatically. But the other thing that exercise does, the, extra thing, uh, the other thing that exercise does and that movement does is it releases those good endorphins that I'm always talking about. When you are exercising, when you are moving, when you are doing yoga and you fall in love with your body, you will become, you will, you'll go on to another path, you will, be, you will become a better version of yourself. You just will. You need to learn to love yourself. But exercise and movement, yoga, stretching, doing things for your body, showing self-love is the first step. 
Get rid of those, get rid of those negative thoughts by putting good endorphins out into the world. Let those good endorphins be released. Feel good about yourself. Get some energy. That will definitely help. Exercise is the key to body image issues. Eat nutrient-dense foods. Again, and it's not just about weight loss. There are people, you can be perfectly happy, 20 pounds overweight, 30 pounds, 50, whatever it is, you can be happy at that weight. You can, is, But again, make sure it's real. If you're not happy there, then take care of it. Fix it, change it, change some things. If you're not happy where you are, stop doing the things that got you to where you are. Right? Release those good endorphins. Eating healthy foods also releases good endorphins. It helps with clarity of mind. All those, those chemicals that you put into your body, it's not good for you. And if you think about it, what do we do? We, we, we're, we don't feel good about our bodies. Maybe we're overweight. And what do we do to suppress those feelings? We eat more junk food. It's like kicking ourselves when we're down. Why are you kicking yourself when you're down? If you do not have a good body image, then start eating healthier foods. That releases good endorphins, gives you more clarity of mind, makes you feel a little bit better, makes you have more energy, makes you think different thoughts. Those are keys to transforming your body and your mindset when it comes to body image. Changing your mindset requires exercise, water, and nutrient-dense foods. So having a negative image, self-image, a negative body image is a mindset thing. It's all in your head. It's a mindset issue. And in order to fix your mind, you have to do those things. You've got to get the exercise in. You've got to get the nutrient-dense foods into your body. and You've got to drink that water. It is absolutely vital. And never, I mean never, ever compare yourself to the people you see on Instagram. Stop it. It's not real. There's so many filters, there's so much fake. There's so, they're showing you a clip shot of the perfect picture, the perfect timing, the perfect pose. They've probably taken 400 shots of it. Stop comparing yourself to others. Look in the mirror and fall in love with that person. Fall in love with that person first. And you are beautiful in your own way. Stop comparing, there's no one else like you. Why would you compare yourself to other people? You don't have to look like that person. That person's probably not help, ha happy with how they look either. So why would you want to look like that? You can't. That's the other thing. Genetically, maybe you can never look like that person. But you can look the best you can look. You can be the best version of you with a little bit of work, with a little bit of help, with a little bit of mindset, exercise, physical exercise, mindset exercise, get the water and get those endorphins released, get those nutrients into your body, and you can change the way you think about yourself. Then guess what? You will be enough. You will stop comparing yourself to others and you will say, everyone else, compare yourselves to me, right? That's how it should be. Don't worry about what other people think of you. Don't worry about what other people look like. Be the best you. Be the best you you can possibly be. You're perfectly perfect in your own way. So stop comparing yourself to other people. When it comes to food, keep it simple. Eat nutrient-dense foods. Keep it simple. Eggs and toast for breakfast. A snack, protein drink, and some seeds and nuts. A chicken breast, uh, potatoes, vegetables, all kinds of different things for your, for your lunch. You can have some Greek yogurt with your own fruit put into it. Non-fat, or not fat. Whole, whole Greek yogurt plain with the fruit in it. And then, a, and then a nice healthy supper. If you eat like this and you eat like this consistently, guess what? You will start to feel better about yourself. Believe it or not, food is directly linked to body image. It just is. Food is a direct link to body. And guess what? Eating less doesn't make you weigh less. Eating less doesn't improve your health. So stop thinking that way. Eat more nutrient-dense foods. Release those good endorphins. Feel good about yourself. It, there is a direct correlation between the way a person feels about their body and body image issues, big, severe body image issues and food and exercise and water. Those things matter. So don't complicate it. Make it simple. Find balance in your life. If you can't handle a full-on cheat day, we talk about the cheat day. If you can't handle the full-on cheat day like the one on the right where you're eating nothing but a whole bunch of junk, then go to the one on the left. Eat healthier, but eat a little bit more maybe. Maybe, maybe you want to have a steak, have a little bit bigger steak. Maybe you want to have some fries, have active fries instead. Maybe you want to have ice cream, have some frozen yogurt. Make better choices. Not that that's a much better choice, but it is a little bit better. But make better choices. That will also help you. When you control 
the food instead of letting the food control you, when you control your life instead of letting life control you, when you control your output, the exercise, the yoga, the stretching that you do, when you're in control, you will have a better body image. Your mindset will change. Don't just exist. Don't just float. Don't just be a sheep. Take control over your life right now. Decide today that you are going to stop beating yourself up. Decide today that you're going to get out of your own way. Decide today that you're going to stop being your own worst enemy. Decide today that you're not going to compare yourself to anyone else ever. It's foolish to compare yourself to other people on Instagram. Trust me, I did this for a living. And I would have people send me in pictures, their, their, their pictures, their weekly pictures for contest prep. And then they would come in and I would see them in person and I would go, what the heck happened? Filters, angles, lighting, all kinds of different things. So stop comparing yourself to people on Instagram and on social media. It is foolish. You don't want to be them. You want to be you. You just want to be a better version of you. That's cool. We're all a work in progress. We all have things we want to make better. We all have things that we want to improve upon. But you can't improve upon your body image if you keep comparing yourself to other people. Stop doing that. Here's the goals for the week. Change your mindset to a positive one when noticing you are being negative. Be self-aware. When you find yourself beating yourself up, when you find yourself you know, down in the dumps because of the way you look, recognize it. Switch it right away. Start thinking more positively and then do something about it. The second you start to beat yourself up about your body, take action. The second you look in the mirror and start judging yourself, take action. Go for that walk. Go down to your gym. Start doing the band. Start moving a little bit more. Drink that water. The second you start to feel like you want to compare yourself to other people on social media, turn it off. Read a book. Listen to a good audio book. Watch a good podcast. Watch a great YouTube channel like this one. The second you start to go down that path, recognize it and flip it on its head. This week, I want you to drink a minimum of two to three liters of water. We're there. If you're not drinking the two to three liters of water a day, then you got to step it up. Two to three liters of water a day minimum. That will help with toxins. It will help with endorphins. It will help with digestion. It will help with all kinds of amazing, crazy, great things inside your body. Drink the water. Get some kind of movement in five to six times this week. Get some movement in. I don't care how much. I don't care what it is, but get it in. Take, take my advice from the last courses. Every hour, get up and do some squats. Every hour, get up and do some push-ups. Every hour, get up and do some rubber band stuff. Go for a walk. Go for a bike ride. The, the, the weather's getting better. Go do something. Move that body. If you have body image issues, move that body. That's the best way to fix that. Now, again, I'm not talking about psychological issues. I'm not talking about people who have psychological issues where there are, you know, obviously food um, disorders, eating disorders, mental disorders with regards to their bodies. That is something completely out of my realm of expertise. I have worked with and helped a lot of clients with eating disorders. And one of the best things you can do is fall in love with your body through exercise and proper nutrition. I know that for a fact. That has helped a lot of my clients. There are some people who are at the extreme spectrum. They're, they're, they're at the extreme end of the spectrum. So if you're there, you might want to seek some medical help. You might want to take some medication. There's all kinds of things. I'm not a big fan of meds, but there are some people. I would rather you take meds than die because guess what? Eating disorders can kill people. I, that's, it's happened. But the first step is to fall in love with you. Stop comparing yourself to others. Eat proper food, balance nutrition, drink the water and get the exercise. And those are the tips for life, especially if you have body image issues. Guess what? You're good enough. You are perfectly perfect. I love you just the way you are. Now you need to love you just the way you are. Take care, guys.